So we start Shri Shri Vilapa Kusumanjali, verse 66. Goshte shayata kuchu kutukach chapata pi purvam sushnik daya sumuki matri parada topi hari mati priyaganai saha bojamana kim tvam nikisha ridaye mudam adyalapshe. O Rimati, shy girl, O Sumuki, fair-faced girl, when will my heart feel great joy when I see the queen of Raja, Yashoda, who is more affectionate than billions of mothers, taking eager oaths to make you sit down to eat with your friends. I will repeat the verse. Orimati Sumuki, shy and fair-faced girl. When will my heart feel great joy? When I see the queen of Raja, Yashoda, who is more affectionate than billions of mothers, taking eager oaths to make you sit down to eat with your friends. Notes. In the previous verse, there was an exchange of glances and a prayer for viewing this beautiful scene. In this verse lies, lies a prayer to see Swamini's Bojan Lila, pastimes of eating. Mother Yashoda now takes care that Swamini eats something. Mother wants to feed her, but Lajavati Swamini does not want to eat. From Pada Kalpataru. Anxiously, Mother Yashoda takes Rai on her lap and say, Oh, my girl, don't go now. Eat something, eat something first. Mother Yashoda touches Swamini and swears, swears her to sit down and eat. How much affection she has. More than even billions of mothers. Why don't you eat a little? Do you think that I'm different from your own mother? Um, yeah, I just feel when, when I was reading this uh, sentence, um, when we come to Gurudev in Gurudev's room, he always asks us, did you eat something? Did you eat prashad? And then he's giving from his Prashad to us, always feeding us like a mother, taking care so lovingly. And uh, yeah, how, how do you feel about this? Um, hearing this, please share if somebody has some feelings to share about.
And perhaps we can also remember our own mothers, or if we are also a mother and we have children, that we also often say to them, oh, but before you go, please eat something or take something with you on your, on your journey so that you are safe, that you have something to eat. So it's also an, yeah, an expression of love. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe. I want Dandavad to all of you, Dandavad to Gurudev, Jai Ho. Um, also, what came to me when you read the verse, um, Raghunath Das Goswami is saying, I'm so happy that he's very happy that Mother Yashoda, Mother Yashoda took all this uh, endeavor to make Swamini sit down. So there is also a little bit some secret meaning to why, why, would, why would he be so happy? Um, because that means that uh, Swamini can be in the vicinity of uh, her beloved uh, lover Krishna more longer. So, so the Kinkaris are always happy when, when Mother Yashoda arranges for this because then the possibility, possibility can happen that, like we've read in the previous verse, that Radhika and Krishna can exchange glances. So the Kinkari is always <clears throat> happy when Radha and Krishna can meet. And here uh, Raghunath Das Goswami is so happy that Mother Yashoda actually arranges something that Radhika can still be there in the vicinity, in the nearbyness of, of her beloved. So uh, we have to be always seeing through the lines also why a Kinkari is saying that. And this is, I think, is very important because they, they always want to be that, that, a servant that the divine couple is together. And these exchanges when Swamini and Krishna are together but not many know and it's a little secret they still they, they steal glances and 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 they look at each other but it's not in the open you know it's not an open relationship so this is very very tasteful for krishna and also for swamini and therefore the kinkari here raghunadas goswami he is so happy that mother yashoda facilitates this if she would know what really was going on, you know, this is some, um, it's also funny and a little secretive. So I like this very much that this little aspect. Radhe Radhe, Jai Shri Radhe Jai Gurudev. Also, we had, it was actually with Tarun Baba two weeks ago, I think we talked about food <laughs> and uh, how the feeling that the most direct way, materially speaking, of course, to give, to transfer love to one you love is to, is to cook, to cook for them. That first it's by combining material ingredients with the love in your heart, you make something taste good, and then you put it into the body of the one you love and it becomes re-spiritualized. So it's such the, it's such an intimate pastime to cook, and we all know this, especially the mothers, maybe. And it's uh, so very nice just to remember this, and to, it's such a simple way to do bhajan uh, in our lives. Radha. Radha, so Radhe Radhe, so in recently, uh, Gurudev was uh, leading. In uh, Srimad Bhagatam, I think uh, uh, Mahaprabhu's teaching and pastimes place. And then <coughs> Gurudev was say, during Sankirtan, and uh, Mahaprabhu is asking devotee, Did you eat something? <laughs> what do you want to eat? <laughs> and then <laughs> Some devotees say, Mahaprabhu, we would like to eat mango. But uh, this is out of season. So Mahaprabhu uh, asking devotee, could you bring some, some seed of mango? So, and then Mahaprabhu got this seed and uh, some devotee uh, uh, inside the soil. And they immediately become tree and uh, full of mango. And then they eat, they satisfy. At that time, Gurudev said, this is bhakti. 
This is Raga Bhakti. Because uh, eating, giving food is so important. Like uh, uh, Rupa Goswami is showing us in Upadesha Murita how to exchange love uh, between the devotees. And then at that time, Rupa Goswami said, uh, giving food and receiving food. Giving, giving, giving present and receiving present and disclose our, our mind, our heart. Then also we have to, we also, we have to listen or hear. So Gurudev is saying distributing food, <laughs> serving food is so important. And uh, Gurudev is saying, Gurudev learn from grandmother. Because grandmother, Gurudev's grandmother is always distributing at first their servant. Then after servant eat, eat, then grandmother eat. So this is Gurudev's, I was shocked when I first visit Mungen Raj Mandir because at that time, I was visiting maybe 6 a.m. and then I supposed to, I'm, I'm always leaving 8.30. And then Gurudev was asking me, Jayananda, why, why you go so early? Why don't you give me mercy? Why don't you take prasada here? And then at, at that time, I don't understand, the, you know, what, what Gurudev is talking about. But, uh, Slowly understand. Oh, glory is so eager to distribute food. Guru Dev want us to eat. Guru Dev want to feed us. Then after some time, I, I ate a prasadam. So I also, I learned from Guru Dev. So this is, so my yoga Shakti Didi uh, saying very nice point about distributing food. Rade, rade. Also, what I, I, I wanted to share, um, you know, when, when we came to Krishna consciousness, we offered the food to Krishna and things like that. But I was very happy when I met my beloved Gurudev, Shilananda Das Babaji, that actually the offering process in itself is far more detailed and far more important than just, you know, an offering. So according to the tradition of the Parivas, traditional Parivas, you, you, the whole offering process is kind of a meditation. So like in the, in the Leelas, you go there and you offer, you imagine yourself as your kinkari form, as your manjari form, and you offer the food which you prepare to Krishna. So you let Krishna eat like in the Leela. So Krishna is eating the, the boga and then, of course, it's prasada. And then... You know, the leftover when Krishna finished eating, so I, as a Srivaka, in my mantra form, I close the offering. So then the leftover is offered to, Sw to Swamini and the Sakis. That is the process Baba taught us. So then you take this and you offer it in your mind with a nice uh, offering mantras. You offer those yeah. items which Krishna already ate. You offer to Swamini and the Sakis. So then you wait a little bit until they eat, like in the real Lila. And then when Swamini ate, you offer that prasadam, which is now Krishna prasadam, which is now Radha prasadam. Those is given to your guru mantri, to the mantris, and then eat, they eat. So this is a, like Uddhava said, this is a very simple way of making such an, an, an practical uh, uh, anga of bhakti, like offering food actually as a meditative process. You, you, ma you imagine the offering, it goes to Krishna, and then Swamini and the Sakis eat, and then the Mancharis eat. So this, is very, this helped me very, very much because it involves also the mind, which is, which is very important. You don't just go there and say, here, this is the, <laughs> this is the Boga, please accept my humble offering. This is a fast-going version, but actually we should take care and we should nicely in the mind offer the Boga according to what your guru they've taught you and i love this very much these sequences that actually it is like in the leela 
I will. Now you help us very much. Radha Radha. In Mugair Mandir, we offer like this. First to Krishna, then to Radhika. First bell. It means Radhika, Krishna offering is finished. Second bell is Radhika offering. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And then it goes to one plate go to three plates are there. So one plate go to Gopeshwara and one plate go to Guru, Guru Dev, Guru Samadhi. And this offer mix Vaishnava Prasad, Guru Dev Prasad plus direct Radha Mohan Prasad with Radha Rani, it goes to direct to the mix with the prasadam. <coughs> and one what Mahaprabhu plate was that it goes to Samaj. Ra Krishna, Radhika take offering and then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. This three offering is in the temple. This tradition is working from 1932. Wow. wow, wonderful, Gurudev. Yeah. When I was traveling, I see they offer to bring the plate to Prabhupada, and they say that now you offer to the deity. Means this offer is not served directly, and this is not offered to deity because this is offered to Prabhupada. Is a wrong process. Yes. It's a process. You can keep in mind, but you have to do yourself. You are also in a manjari. You are dasi. Guru they will do this job. First offer to Krishna, Radhika, then Chaitanya. Then you will do it. So, this is traditional way and that is modern way. Prasana. I continue reading. Do you think that I'm different from your own mother? You can laugh, joke, sleep and eat in my house, just as you can do in your own mother Kitty Das house. For whom should you be shy? Mother Yashoda then sits close to Sri Radhika and personally feeds her. Sri Radhika does not eat anything else but the nectarian remnants from, Shri, from Krishna's meal. Sri Radhika does not eat anything else but the nectarian remnants from Krishna's meal. So, okay. Danishta. Try to understand. This is the thing. Why she goes and Mother Jasuda is telling to Radhika, you feel like your mother to me. And, and I love you so much <coughs> because I know you are the source of love. 
you are my daughter but the love comes from you so i want to increase this love for krishna mm -hmm. so you are my daughter not only krishna daughter you are daughter of me also so please give more love that i can give to krishna mm -hmm. And while Radhika is going there, the mother just told her home. There is two reason for her: one to cook for Krishna, one to see to Krishna, and one to learn from mother. Why she want to learn mother Lila? Because for the manjaris, he knows conjugal love. He knows Krishna's love, but he has no idea how to give bhasadi rasa, like a baby's love. So she is also going to learn. She has a one mood of love, conjugal love. So she every day go to learn from Mother Jasoda. What is the real love? I am not. Direct daughter of her, but she say you are my daughter. So she is learning that like a human, like a human body, we are not. We are as a relation in material life, but she is ready to accept us like a baby. When we want to be in Manjari Hall, she want to give that love, like a motherly love, to the Manjaris. Only to the Manjaris, how to love and give love that she learned from Mother Jasoda. So this was the reason, and to serve, cook for Krishna's. So she fulfilled three desire at the same time. So learning, and mother want to receive more love from her, and she knows what is happening. Any mother knows what his son is doing. Is a natural mother knows. <laughs> you don't need to say he hides. They hide from mother, but mother knows what they are doing. This is a motherly love. Without telling, it don't know is not mother. So she knows my Krishna love, my Radhika is Radhika. So she is my daughter because Krishna likes this. But, Radhe Gurudev, thank you for enlightening us on these different feelings that they have in their exchange. It is so, uh, so rich to hear how Mother Yashoda wants to learn from Swamini and Swamini wants to learn from Mother Yashoda. They are all about increasing their feelings with each other. And for me also, I want to learn this Gurudev that wherever I am, I am with the devotees, how to increase the feelings. And um, I remember also one Gopinath Bhai was speaking about when Shimati Radhika goes to Nandagaon every morning around seven, seven to eight ish. Then this is the place where the Vatsalya Bhav and Madhuya Bhav are meeting and she has this Vatsalya Bhav for her kinkaris and she is also learning from Mother Yashoda. This I hear for the first time, Gurudev, how to love in this 
motherly way. And at the same time, she has the her feelings for Mohan, and that uh, is also the expertise of our Swamini, how to balance the feelings according to the situation. And in this situation, she is very shy, and she becomes very small in front of Mother Yashoda. She is the small girl that Mother Yashoda wants her to be. That is the, the speciality in the exchange of the feelings that whoever has certain relationships with each other, then this is uh, completely lived. So in that moment, Shrimati Radhika is shy and she is, Mother Yashoda takes her on her lap like a baby, like a girl. And she is feeding her from her own hands. Just to imagine this is so much sweetness. And uh, like you said, also Mother Yashoda wants to increase her love for Mohan, for Krishna. So, so much love is uh, floating between them and they are all learning from each other. And I remember once Gurudev, because we were praying for Niti today, when we were taking prashad together in the basement, then also I, I got to uh, witness that love between Niti and uh, Ayan, that deep love that they have, <laughs> and uh, how she was feeding Ayan, although he was a teenager at that time. And I was just, I couldn't take my eyes off that, <laughs> because there was so much love flowing between them. And she was really feeding her him, and he was accepting it, and I uh, accepting it. And I thought, wow, this is really something special to see how how so much Vatsaya Bhav is, is is flowing and between the mother and the child. So that I want to share because I remember that by a beautiful sharing. So sweet, thank you, Suniti, and thank you, Guru Dev, so much. Sri Radhika does not eat anything. Shri Radhika does not eat anything else but the nectarian remnants from, from Krishna's meal. So Danishta has secretly mixed that in the dishes that Mother Yashoda serves her. From Krishna. Radhe, oh, the remnants of Radhika. Krishna eating, Radhika eating. Radhika eating, then devotees are taking prasad. That prasad is Radha Krishna prasad. Radha Mohan prasad, that to eat means that feeling has to be there at the time of picking. So Radhika's jute and bite. So similarly, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is also Radhika is a guru in Chaitanya. Krishna is a subject there. So when we offer Chaitanya, means we are offering to Chait Radhika and Krishna. This is also working. Sometimes Krishna also likes to eat, give to Radhika that he eat. This is love of Krishna and this is 
So she gave first to Radhika, then he eat. Like a, you see, with the friends, also Krishna is giving in the mouth of food to his friend and then he taking that. His exchange of love. That to feel it and think it is very important when we want to connect and develop relations, we have to go deep in that. Means Manjari only take Radhika's prasad, not Krishna prasad, because she is Radhika Das. From Krishna Bhava Namrita, while eating, while eating this. Shri Radhika is overwhelmed by bliss and by casting a merciful glance on Danishta, she makes her also float on waves of bliss. Danishta feels blessed knowing that she has made Shri Radha happy with her secret service. Affectionately, Mother Yashoda, who is the embodiment of parental love, lifts her hand to personally feed Srimati. Tulasi, and the Sakis have great fun in seeing Mother Yashoda feeding Srimati. And Manjari, sometimes Radhika called and sometimes she give from her mouth to Manjari mouth. She see every place, nobody is there. Then Radhika gave from her mouth to Manjari. So this way of Bhatsali Rasa, my Swami learned to give to more to the Manjari. That is Manjari of that is Radharaj. She has so much love. She knows that we are in Parkia Bhav. I need helper. In Sakya Bhav, you don't need helper. She don't need helper in Goloka. But she needs help in Guloka Vrindavan because yes, her pastime is in Parkyabha. They cannot marry, they are not married couple. Why not they are married couple when they are married in Guloka? But this is the one story behind that, that they have to be a separation of 100 years. And that she is keeping and maintaining here. So they are married couple, but they want to give this gift to the Manjiris to understand that you will get the chance. And so Mahaprabhu bring this Unnat Ujjwal Rasa. Bhakti Shriyam for 
this Kaliyu Hatai. And when we practice this, that is Mano Vishtam, means the mind of Chaitanya we do in our life. That is the beauty of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and that is the beauty of my Swami. Honestly, we say Radha Krishna. What is meaning of Radha Krishna? What is meaning of Radha Mohan? Radha's Mohan. This is the meaning. This cannot be my Mohan without Radhika's. So I cannot be Mo 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 Mohan. I want to directly to see ignoring Radhika. So we don't understand. This is Radhika's moment. This is the Vasil Ras without Mother Jasuda cannot move. Sakhiras without Sri Ram Sudama cannot move. Similarly, without Radhika, we cannot understand the Kambivala. But we got the chance of our Mahajan Rupa Raghunath and his follower, Siddha Mahatmas, like Anandas Babaji, my Guru they, they realize it through the bhajan, self-realize, and they see these pastimes. And then they helping us <coughs> like this. And <coughs> Surprising for me of Anandas Babaji, how he inspired us. One thing I say you, Saturday there was the first time <coughs> Radha Krishna is together, but they feel separation. And this past time is mentioned that Anwabhati bring him to to Chandravali place and Krishna is missing and like this. And that I don't remember that is story because this is but if you see there is no any words of the Opposite to arrival group. Even Baba Anandas Babaji mentioned Raghunath Das Goswami got one lead plate from Chandravali place. He see no, he no accept. That is Ananyavakti, one pointed frame and Nishtha for Radhika. Without Ananyavakti, one pointed bhakti, we cannot be a mercy. So this is the special mercy of Anandas Babaji books. There is no any pastime out of Radha Mohan. All the pastime in between Radha Mohan and how the Manjari can reach to the Manjari house. How we are in Sadak they have to do, how to do in Siddha they have, so details he explain it. Anyone, even unknown people, if he practice, he can realize it. I see Mahatma, I know from three, four years, when you come first time, you remember? When the Karuna, Karuna was there and why did they come first time, right, Sadhvi? And that time, he, I never talked these things. Next year, he come and then this year. And in two years, he, he talked so deeply, I surprised. So this surprising means really he listen. He really he go to practice inside. Although he's so busy, 
with me and very busy with his wife. Sadhvi, both are making very busy to me. <laughs> and this, in this busyness, how he has a time to practice. So, <laughs> I don't know, but he is in practice of this. <laughs> I make very busy to him because I cannot do anything and he knows what I want. Without telling, he knows what I want. And Sadhvi also knows. <laughs> he knows what Sadhvi wants. So in two places, <laughs> he's working on it <laughs> day and night. <laughs> and he practices, he practices like this. Guru Dev, this is also so amazing for us. And it's, it's really. Yeah, That's because time. in short time, so much. I, so I, I want to say, Prabhupada give mercy to us that he say Krishna consciousness, and only Radhika is Krishna conscious. Anyone cannot say that I am a Krishna conscious. They are fools. <laughs> Only my Swami is 24-7. She want to forget, but she cannot forget. And we want to think for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, one hour, and we say Krishna conscious. Impossible. So what is the gift of Prabhupada? He said, if you listen to me and follow me, I will make you the dasi of Krishna conscious, Radhika. If you follow me, if not, then you have need 20 years time to sadhan bhakti, and then you will realize this. And if you are really listen to me, you will be really dasi of Krishna conscious one person. That is Radhika. So it depends upon how I listen and realize and try to understand. This is the mercy of Guru Kripa that without knowing we jump in the graduation. No? It's a mercy. So everyone cannot do this. They want to go first basic classes and this, that, 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 that. So, a long time. And you can jump also. <laughs> That's the point. So, I'm telling you, it's a very big gift. What our Tarun Baba bring this print of the book of Anandas Babaji to whole Europe. Take it serious. I love to him because of that, that this gift, uh, when he was there, I'm listening to him, but I not go so deep with him. But these books bring me more deep to realize it. Only by listening, this happen in life. And this sharing what you give, this is your creation, Suniti. You <laughs> make Asya, this name you give, and you make this sharing things. Thank you. It's all your mercy, Gurudev. And I want, may add that um, when we see that us old, you know, old timers that took so long to get purified of our, you know, old samskaras of so called old, Christian culture. Long time because he has <laughs> forget old practice. And the new unknown person gets faster because he do not know anything. Yeah, exactly. 
And you give them every spoon of your prasad. <laughs> you see, one day he say in Adidila Four Canto, Krishna is a foreigner. To understand what to understand, Majidiva. For him is a foreign business. So he become Manjari by he's a foreigner for this subject. Because he never do this. Yes, Gurudev, and I have some new uh, idea about this last night. Because Krishna is used to be the doer, but now he wants to become the viewer, Gurudev. <laughs> <laughs> so, this was a foreigner. He was foreign for this subject. Understand this foreigner. Prabhupada, I can say you, he is very the same and Radha Dasi. And anyone says he's a Sakhava, I want to talk with him. <laughs> he proved me how he's Sakha. If why they say Sakhava, you know? Because then he, this is out of line. Mm -hmm. This is not a Rupanuga. He's a Raganuga. So he's a Sakha. He cannot release Radha Dasya. And he, I can prove from the Bhagavad Gita, I can prove from the Srimad Bhagavad, I can prove from every place of his words that he is a Rasik and he is a Radha Dasya. Jai Ho, Jai Prabhupada. So, all the Mahajan comes to our life there when we are fortunate to thanks to them. Gurudev, give me vision to see these things. Thank you. It's all Guru Kripa. There's Guru Kripa that I can see. My darkness is not there. I not in dark room. I can see the light yet to see that. My vision has a not cataract. I can see without cataract. <laughs> I remember I have a boat as cataract. I cannot see. I go to the temple and I cannot see the other one. I was surprising. So I decide to, what is the use of this body? And I, well, I cannot see Radha Mohan. I have to do immediately operation. Without telling, I decide to do it. And I have a good eyes. I don't need glasses even. <laughs> I see my soul. <laughs> Very clear. Sitting here, but I can see from this room also to my Swami. This is the mercy of this Vilafka Sumanjali, Radha Sudhanjali. The blessing of Gurudev is there to more to feel and see and grow your life. Where is Tarun Baba? He's hiding. Tarun Baba. I'm here, Gurudev. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here, Gurudev. Thank you so much for your wonderful words. Without you, where would we be? That is my honest. That is no. my honest feeling. You are our. All of we, you. We catch, we catch <laughs> hold. This is the. This is all of you. You are helping me. If not, then it's easy to go catch it by Maya. This is the only thing. Is a Radharani Mercy Guru Kripa. What yes. we are listening, that is catching us. 
one line, 24-7 is easy to go and flow in that line. Afternoon, pick up with Radha, Rasul Sudhanidhi, that 13, she is ready, and say, Swami said, I am a chastised woman, not touch me. And just now I want to touch, but in, outside she said, no, 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 but inside is yes, yes, yes. Some days, as Baba is explaining so nicely that it touched to your heart. No, 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 and yes, yes, yes. Only you practice, no, 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 yes, yes, yes. In no yes is there. Rather, this is the must. Of Baba's words. Gurudev, this morning, sometimes sometimes I'm reading Baba's explanation. There's one really, really wonderful poem by Raghuna Das Goswami, the 108 names of Radhika. And sometimes during the year I read these 108 names and Baba is giving such wonderful, wonderful explanations. And and one in this morning, he gave one explanation, which is so wonderful. If I'm allowed to share it, I would like to share this passage because it shows the uniqueness and it shows how everything is, is based on Ladini Shakti, on Swamini. And I was, this is just like a little paragraph, but Baba is making clear that everything which is happening in Vrindavan is actually because of the love of Swamini. And then he gives one, two, two lines um, about how even us Sadakas are influenced by that. So I was, if, it, if it's okay, I can read it because it's so wonderful. Yeah. So this is the, Baba is expl explaining the third name and then there comes a wonderful explanation. I will try to read it very slowly. Um, Srimati's third name, Raghunadas Goswami is mentioning, is Goshta Yuvar Chaika Kamita, the only girl who is desired by the young prince of the pasture lands, Sri Krishna. And now Baba is explaining that all the Rasika stuff is based on the love of Swamini. The, this young prince of the pasture lands, is the self-satisfied, self-delighted wow. Supreme Lord himself and wow. nothing else, nothing else but the love of his devotees causes waves of transcendental bliss to disappear in his heart. That does not contradict his being self-satisfied at all, though. Now comes Baba explaining now the, the, the position of Swamini. It's so wonderful. The love of his devotee belongs to his innate potency, which makes him both Atmarama, self-delighted, and Premarama, delighted with love. Sri Radhika is the presiding goddess of Prema, which is the essence of the Lord's Ladini or pleasure potency. She appears as his concert to be always exclusively desired by Krishna for her mother Nakya Mahabhav. Krishna, and this is a very, very deep, deep point. Listen very good. This is very nice. Krishna can relish the love of all the other gopis through her alone. For her Madana Prema is the cause of all the gopis' ecstasy. I repeat this one. This is very, very deep. 
Krishna can relish the love of all the gopis only through her alone. For her, Madana Prema is the cause of all the gopis' ecstasy. Therefore, Sri Ratha is the only one he desires. Now he explains the different rasas very, very beautifully, Baba, so nice. It is only for the sake of relishing Swamini's different moods, like man, jealous anger, kandita, disappointment, and kalahantarita, remorse after making a quarrel, that Krishna sometimes is with another girl, like Chandravali, for instance. This astonishes him with an unprecedented relish. Thus, when it seems that Krishna desires Chandravali, it is actually that he desires Sri Radha. Even Krishna's mother and father, boyfriends and girlfriends and all other relatives are all required to assist him in relishing Kantarasa, his pastimes with Swamini. I repeat, even Krishna's mother and father, his boyfriends, his girlfriends, and all the other relatives are all required to assist him in relishing Kantarasa, meaning being exclusively devoted to Swamini, his pastimes with Radhika. Krishna desires them also only because he desires Swamini. Hence it is said, Ratri Dina Kuncha Krita Kore Radha Sange. Day and night he plays in the Kuncha with Radha. One may now ask if Krishna plays with Radha in the Kuncha day and night, then when will he play with his relatives and his friends? The answer to this is that even when he plays with them, there is always an underlying current of relishing Radhika's rasa flowing within Krishna's heart. Only Rasikas can understand this. And now comes the, the, the paragraph which was amazing, amazed me the most. This is a wonderful, wonderful paragraph. Sri Radhika. Being the root cause of the Lord's Ladini Shakti, pleasure potency, is also present in the hearts of all the dedicated devotees of the Lord, be they aspirants, advanced practitioners, perfected souls, or eternally perfected souls. So, this is so wonderful. Baba is saying, because Radhika, is the source of all bliss. It is also that when we take up bhakti, when we get to bhakti Lada beach, that she is also, we are also being infused with that love of Ladini Shakti, the love of Swamini in our heart. Sri Radha, being the root cause of the Lord's pleasure potency, is also present in the hearts of all the dedicated devotees of the Lord be they aspirants, advanced practitioners, perfected souls, or eternally perfected souls. She Krishna's desire, this is the most important sentence, Krishna's desire to relish the love of all the devotees originates in his desire for Radhika. And therefore her name of Goshta Yuva Rachaika Kamita she who is the only desired lover of the young prince of Vrindavan is more than justified. I found this extremely beautiful. Very, very. This was super. And I realized one thing when I was 25 or 30 years old, my Gurudev said, one day, my son, 
అంతరంగ శక్తి బికమ్ బహిరంగ అంతరంగ శక్తి రాధిక బికమ్ బహిరంగ బికాస్ షీ కెన్ నాట్ గో అవుట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద కుంజ అండ్ షీ నెవర్ గో అవుట్ బట్ కృష్ణ నేచర్ టు గో అవుట్ ఎవరీ ప్లేస్ so that time who how she and uh, she can to so, bahiranga shakti is also radhika and this um, more details anandas baba ji explaining about that that antaranga shakti become bahiranga shakti and every place krishna is looking to radhika and all devotees not understand but they are also energy of radhika is moving inside it he is a bina he is a lahist yes so if he is in bahar bairanga and this bairanga shakti is also bringing him antaranga so where the, every place in the creation what is happening is a radha there is nothing than radhika out of radha this is baba is explaining beautifully can you send to me okay yes I, sure I beautiful very, beautiful very nice also that it gives us so much hope that actually we are also part of that we are one drop of that huge huge ocean of the love of swamini usually i for myself i tend to forget this but actually in in one in one verse before baba is saying that swamini is so compassionate and he gives the example that uh, one day there was a little calf oh. you know, a little uh, a little calf from a cow and this calf he was eating grass and the grass was a little bit sharp and the the grass was cutting the mouth of the little calf a little bit and swamini was so compassionate that she went there and she smeared her vermilion from her body on the mouth of that little calf so this is so compassionate and we we in this hard material world we forget that actually yes we have to love swamini that is our job and our our sadhana but also we have to remember she loves us so this helps me sometimes i have this moments in my stupid mind that this thoughts come up that also she loves us you know this we also have to remember that she is really love personified i easily forget this but when i'm in the presence of you gurudev i am remembered that we are all we are all loved your presence must give us remembrance <laughs> no <laughs> oh no శ్రీమతిశాఖీ you see here is viewer manjari is our viewing not doing mm. they do service for only radhika but abhi things they are viewing radhe mm. the sakis make sly hints to shri radhika as if they want to say I understand your belly will not be filled unless Mother Yashoda feeds you Krishna's remnants. Wow. <laughs> Tulasi. He always hear about. He say your belly will not fill. You will never satisfy if you not take care of Manjari's. you not take the reverence of krishna your belly will not fill when the mother is not feeding when you not give the basal rasa to your manjaris 
your belly is not satisfied because this manjari is as a neighbor to neighbor connection to you and your belly will never full your desire will never full if the mother not care to the baby his belly will never full never satisfied will come never satisfaction will come ah. you see this is parkiya line is for something but the meaning is something that is the all our shastra is mentioned like this read again this line and understand what i say the sakis make sly hints to shri radhika as if they want to say i understand your belly will not be filled unless mother yashoda feeds you krishna's remnants you see if you not do this service to the manjari like mother jasoda is doing bachelors you will never satisfy <laughs> <laughs> you see, your belly will not full. Your love means you are missing something. This is Parthia writing. Yes, I give you a hint to understand. I understand all lines like this. Go on. Tulasi, whose bliss knows no bounds, stands close by Swamini, silently hoping that she will give her some of her remnants. You see, this is. Anything in the heart of Swami, Manjari is understand. So, how to make full to baby of my Swami? I have to go to ask some remnants. I am the baby of her. Then she will baby will see the child. Do the Sakis also ask for remnants, Gurudev? Yeah. But <laughs> they are. But the what to see, Manjari is asking here. Yeah. You see, read again. Tulasi, whose bliss knows no bounds, stands close close by Swamini, silently hoping that she will give her some of her remnants. And Swamini, understanding what is on her mind, secretly drops some of her chewed food in Tulasi's hand. Tulasi's hand. Wow! You see, is our feeling. Huh? And the now belly is satisfied, fulfilled because he do all the work. But it's only Tulasi who get remnants. The Saki is looking, looking, watching it. Saki always watching. Why the cow? Your face is not clear to us. What is covering to you? Sure. Huh? Saki. Yeah, your face is not clear. Oh, sun. the sun is sun is coming. Sun. Very nice. We have no sun. Here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm in Mohini's place, and there is I sitting in the sun because we have since weeks we have no sun, and so I I enjoy this. Very nice. <laughs> 
From inside, the sun is shining from the Zoom, and outside, the sun is shining through the window. Nice so, food, I see. You are taking this food cooked by Chachu and Mohini. Yeah. These are for. It's so nice. We celebrate the uh, uh, New Year and together here in the Sangha. My God. So, you we also like take the remnants of Swamini. Yeah. Yeah. So the Saki is not get it. Because they think parallel, huh? How they will ask? They are not baby. Baby ask for mother. But they are friends, na? How they 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 will eat together? Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, this is different. Sixteen, we are beloved to so much today. Beautifully mentioned about that. Sri Ranta, thank for your friendship. I want to be your dasi on me. Dandavats. To friendship. <laughs> Yeah. In, in, sorry, I'm very crazy today. So I'm wonderful. <laughs> something to share. Beautiful Gurudev. So Swamini is sharing uh, her secretly. Um, so therefore we want to be the Mandaris and not the Sakis because she's giving everything to her mandaris and also she's giving this hiding lead so that mother yashoda and her friends the sakis cannot see it and i shall believe it not fulfilled <laughs> only for the stealing krishna prasad krishna love she is not fulfilled that way if she not give to the her babies that is the point So Prabhupada said, Krishna conscious. I didn't receive from the who is Krishna conscious, receive the mercy from her. Very, very in Parikya how he writes all books. And I I I by the grace of my Guru Dev, I can feel it. And I catch the lines and underline where I start reading, I catch there. Mm. I surprise. Mm. Well, Dave, I have a question about Dhanishta. Mm. Because <clears throat> what it, it says here, <clears throat> Radhika does not eat anything else but the nectarian remnants from Krishna's meal. So Dhanishta has secretly mixed that in the dishes that Mother Yashoda serves her. Yeah. It seems here Danishta is very much in this want to please Radhika, want to serve Radhika, Radhika almost like Manjari, that she knows her no, innermost no, no. But how is she able to know this? And that how is she able to do this? Is the, Can you explain Danishta no, more? Danishta is living in Nandagam. Yes. So, what is the Dhanishtika? Dhanishtika. She is Nandagam. Living. 
And this is the one the Danistika and one who get the promise in the Radha. Kundala. They are Krishna's Nandaka. Yes, yes. But this Kundala and Danistika, she loves Radhika. Yes. So, Krishna, when he eating, he spit. No good, good, good. <laughs> he throw it from his mouth because he knows that Danishika will bring this and mix what Radhika will eat because Mother Jasoda was. He is a son, Krishna is a son, yes. not a lord. Why he will mix her and give the same plate to her? She give the first plate, mm. but she knows the Radhika will not eat without some food is not there from Krishna. But so how, how Danishta knows it? Danishtika and Kundalata knows everything, uh. that too. Danistika and Kundalata living in Nandaga, but she is very favorable to Radhika. She is moving for Radhika only. Mother Jasoda also moving for Radhika. So much love we cannot imagine her pastime. But Krishna Radhika go to go only for cooking to Krishna because she has a, some blessing from the Durvasa money. Mm -hmm. And second thing, mother wants this and she wants to learn Bhastarasa from mother to give to the Majoris, his babies. All manjaris, how she will give it. Her belly will not fall without giving. So she is going learning from mother how to give to my baby. Good she, went, uh, she went Sorry. to watch mouth and from her hand. And that time she keeps something in his mouth and give to the to see that he can eat that. This is the kripa of Radhika to the Manjari, March Wait Servant. Radhika. Some some of uh, uh, like for this question, not all. Uh, there, is, there are also Sakas and Sakis who know about this. So they, they, some of them, they know what, like Gurudev very beautifully explained, that they, they know actually what is the preference of Swamini. And it's not that all Sakis don't know anything. Like, like Gurudev said, Mother Yashoda, she knows that Radhika and Krishna are in love. So there are Sakas, very Priya Narma Sakas, who know that Radha and Krishna are meeting. They don't know how they meet, but they know and also some Sakis they know, but not to that extension of the of the Manjaris. So, of course, uh, like sometimes Sakis, they know what Swamini is preferring. And so they they are able to mix the food and they know this secret dealing. So both uh, are some Sakis and some Sakas, but not not like the Manjaris. Mm. They cannot get this, this spit of the are from the mouth of yeah the Manjari can't and yes. her is not fulfilled so Manjari is goes when she's washing mouth that she will spit something she brings from me in the mouth because she has to hidingly go and then the baby is satisfied now I give to my baby there is another feeling Feeling makes the difference. Wow. And to taste Swamini's remnants, 
you have to be very close. Mark, More close than others. Mark my servant. That we have to try. That they are crying for that. That we are trying, but we are not marked by servant of you. You accept me. We are not qualified to get the mark from you. Swamini is sitting on Yashoda Ma's lap still, and we come very close. And eating the remnants of Krishna after then we get not satisfied, mm. <laughs> not full. This is the difference. Wow. Others may be also like to eat this, but not through the mouth of Radhika. First touch the mouth of Radhika, then we eat. But others may be like to eat directly, without touching mouth of Radhika. But we need this first touch of her. Mercy, the special gifts. Only one day Gurudev give his prasad from to me, and I was six months in trance. <laughs> six months, I don't know what is happening to me. Mataji is going to bathroom that I wash my hand, I clean my hand or not. I don't know. <laughs> Six months I was, they are bring, bringing to send picture all to see when I see them. I see Radha Krishna past time and cry. So they oh. stop bring me every place I see Leela going from. Oh. That was the beautiful time in my life. When this will come again to me, I don't know, waiting for that day. Without taking mercy is not happening. It's a Mahaprabhu gift to us. Amazing word is. One to ten, Mataji is testing me that I am doing show or really I am <laughs> out of my senses. So she did not put the salt in the food and I eat very nicely. <laughs> He said, no, you don't feel myself. Tupa. No problem. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that was my good, good time. I cannot explain about that time. Oh, yeah. That was a very good test. <laughs> I have no idea what is happening to me. But only Radha Krishna Dila, what Baba is telling. 24 7 is flowing in day and night to me only by the one mercy and this is the same nature they have, they cannot full satisfaction if they no help to others <laughs> their belly is not full 
If we do the same thing what Bhai Gurudev teaches, then he is satisfied that he is going to help me in the seva. For his happiness, we have to work, we have to do it. To make happy what mercy we receive it in life. Read more, Ma. Wait, Guru Dev. Oh, 10 minutes only. So blessed is this loving maid servant. After Swamini has flushed her mouth and prepares herself for returning to her hometown Yavat, Mother Yashoda anxiously tells her, Oh, my precious little girl, oh, crest jewel of chaste girls, happily take rest for a while. It is not so late. So play a little with your friends and enjoy some battle leaves with camphor. Your form, qualities and activities soothe my heart. And I always dream of them when I sleep. My heart feels pain when I wonder why faith did not bestow an ocean of virtues like you upon me. You see, Mother needs love from Radhika. Radhika needs Vajra from Mother. This is the hidden meaning in let a thunderbolt fall on the head of the creator, faith, for doing this. There's some noise, there's some noise. What happened there? From where it's coming? I don't know. I also hear Mataji, there is there is a blonde Mataji. I don't know her name. Yeah, I can go and meet her, but uh, let me. Yeah. Huh? Do you, know, you know her name? No, perhaps it's fine. Huh? No, it's fine. Thank you. Let a thunderbolt fall on the head of the Creator, Faith, for doing this. What wrong have I done to be devoid of a daughter like you? No. Oh. So I cannot find any girl in the whole area as suitable to marry to my boy as mm. you. <laughs> 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 Hearing Yashoda's sad words, Rishabhanu's daughter laughed naughtily, <laughs> covering her smile with her veil. <laughs> this is also so sweet because on one side she said, oh, sad words, but it's so sweet because Radharani is just, I'm in love with your boy. We are like, yeah, we are together. And so she's not to leave. <laughs> Sorry. Because mother knows and mother wants only that my son become married. And where I will find Radhika, 
who is goddess of love, full of love, where I will find this. No place I see like you. This sea is developing more and more relation, a flow of love. There, there is some viraha here, you know, I feel. Because this kind of like little separation mood is there. That she is, she cannot marry my Krishna. She is not my own daughter. It's a little bit, and then she's feeling more love, like you were saying. The love is no, intense. No, is the Krishna. This was different circumstance. Mm. But this was the desire of Jasodama to marry to the son. That is different circumstances, not Viraha. This is full of rasa, of vasadhyaya, and feeling for Krishna that where I will find beautiful girl who has only love, love, and she is meditating whole day and night for Radhika. This is the luck meditation. But she's also lamenting here, no? Lamenting not, she say, no. Read again. She is reading Mata Soda. You, you want that I read again from Yashoda what she is saying? Yeah. So, oh my precious little girl, oh crest jewel of chaste girls, Happily take rest for a while. It's not so late. So play a little with your friends and enjoy some betel leaves with camphor. Your form, qualities and activities soothe my heart. You see? Soothe my heart, your qualities, your activities. Your love soothes my heart. And I always dream of them when I sleep. You see? Ananda Fava say about Dhruva Smurti, Asmara, and in the night, you dream it. So this is different issue. But you see, in the heart only she is dreaming to Radhika. She is also an example to ask Gurudev how to sing about this. She always liked the best for her son. And so she knows that Radhika is the best to her son. So she Why? takes shelter on her. Why? Because she has a quality of love. Yeah. Beauties are all with the love. Yeah. Go so if we, if we desire the best to Krishna, we have to go to Radhika. Yes. Mother Jasuda is standing there. Yeah. Go on. Not direct to Krishna. Not direct to Krishna. We have to go Radhika, serve her. Then we do the best service to him. Yeah. My heart feels pain when I wander why fate did not bestow an ocean of virtues like you upon me. Yeah. If not give your mercy and not coming to me, I feel pain that badly. Explain this is a very technical word. English I don't understand virtue. What is meaning of virtue? Virtue means the good qualities, best qualities, you see. So and other words, 
Yeah. Read again by Father Gurde of the Mother Yashoda says, You have more better qualities than me. I learn from you. Yes, because you, you have so much love for my Mohan also, and I want to also have this love. Yes, you see. <laughs> I need you to increase my love for myself. So we see that there is a superior of love in Radhika, even there is no higher love than the love of a mother to a son. But still she feel that there is a higher love on Radhika to Krishna than her own love. It is uh, amazing. She's not feeling pain. She feels, I cannot live without Radhika. Yes. She not come. She is painful to me. Wow. <laughs> Yes, Radha, Radhika is increasing the love of Mother Yashoda because she's the personified love and the highest love. So they are increasing other love. love. She loves come from her. Without her mercy, love cannot flow inside any living being. Your um, go on. Mm. My heart feels pain when I wonder why faith did not bestow an ocean of virtues like you upon me. Uh. Let a thunderbolt fall on the head of the creator, faith. <laughs> for doing this. <laughs> so she's cursing. <laughs> <laughs> to the creator. She become angry. <laughs> angry to the creator if you don't do this. <laughs> Why you did not do this? But what? we don't know the inner desire of Krishna and inner desire of Radhika. They love, but they come for Parkiya Bhav this time. And this Parkiya Bhav, Mahaprabhu explaining. Other place only Sakhiya Bhav. Gaudiya Vaishnava has only Parkiya Bhav. Only Rasik can understand Parkiya Bhav beauty. Because she wants to give the chance to the Manjari in the service. Mm. Sakya, you don't give chance to the any your maid servant to come inside your bedroom. When it's very easy to close the door and leave together. But in Parki Abhav, where it's very difficult, without other help, you cannot meet each other. So that way, the manchuris are required. What Sakhi will not do and Gopi will not do. Only very confidential person is required who keep very privately for Radhika and totally fixed in Radhika, they get this fortune. So what wrong have I done to be devoid of a daughter like you? I cannot find any girl in the whole area as suitable to marry to my boy as you. Also, it's where 
uh, sorry. Also, it's very, very, very sweet. You can see the the workings of yoga maya here. That in this lila, in this world, uh, maduria is so thick. It covers all the Aishvarya. Here, yoga. Uh, here, Mother Yashoda is cursing. Actually, he's cursing. The, she's cursing the Creator, and the Creator is Krishna. So she has the yoga maya has so much sweetness on her in her maduria and her vatsalya bath that she is cursing the creator and you know they think narayan is the uh, protector so yoga maya is doing such a wonderful job in covering all this aishwarya of the supreme personality of krishna so much maduria is there that aishwarya cannot even be perceived so i found this very funny that she is really cursing actually he's, she's cursing her own son <laughs> Hearing Yashoda's sad words, Rishabam's daughter laughed naughty, covering her smile with her veil. You see? Just had the feeling of Mother Yashoda. So she covered, she liked this place. But we cover them. I think the best handles are them. Yes, we are.